we don't actually need research to know that it would be terrifying for children, especially those children. They're strangers in a strange land. They don't speak the language. They don't know what's happening. They are uh, put into essentially warehoused within institutional context. It's just common sense that that would be a terrible thing to do to a child deliberately <laughs> to punish their parents. I think I would expect that children in this particular scenario would, I mean, the cure is reunite them with their family. Now, they will be reunited now, but they'll be in prison or jail where the reuniting goes on. So that's better than the kids being separated, but it's hardly the best resolution for children and their development and growing up in a safe, secure environment. So I would think that it will have a, at least a temporary uh, impact on kids' sense of security, will increase anxieties and worry. Um, I think that would be normal for children to respond that way. I think many of the immigration type programs that spe specialize in this would have recommended that parents have conversations with children. A separation is much more tolerable if it's explained ahead of time, if a reason is given, if children are prepared for it. So I think that is by far the best advice for families that find themselves in that situation. The biggest concern about serious long-term effects has to do with prolonged placement in institutional settings. Children in institutional settings are being deprived of a fundamental uh, need, which is to have relationships with individual caregivers that are reliable, safe, uh, predictable, and where there's warmth and um, uh, love expressed. So you will have children coming here with parents who are undocumented and they are always in that potential situation. So I'm very, very supportive of the recommendation that parents have conversations with children. So they are prepared for the possibility that there is a plan in place, that there's a backup with family. So that's kind of my point. We don't, children are not destroyed by separation per se. It's really all about how it's handled, what support and resources and reassurance and preparation is given to the children. And of course that did not happen in this border situation. And I think that added to how shocking this intentional policy of punishment of the parents through harming and frightening the children. This is something I have to read. <laughs>